Though I roam, sure my heart never left her Oh, the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland Get me the falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic I'm David Willis and I want you to stay with me for the next 30 minutes or so. And up here I've got a 24 by 18 canvas. And today I'm going to go to Kerry, to the Skelligs, and uh, paint, show you how to paint the seas. It's really easy and it's for everybody. You shouldn't be nervous about painting the seas. So I want you to come up here and show you how to get the horizon and how to get the sea. I have here a bit of masking tape and all I do is place the masking tape on the canvas to where I think I want the horizon to be. From here down will be the sea and from here up will be the sky. And this will make your life easy. Now all I need to do is get some black gesso. With a, don't use your good brushes for this now. And just paint along the edge of the masking tape. Just paint all along the edges of it. And talk nicely to it. Now what I am using is a cheap brush that you can get down in the local hardware store or anywhere you want, at a pound shop or anywhere like that. Now spread this out, but don't use your good brushes. Do not use these good brushes for this. Use a cheap brush and after a couple of turns you're not out of pocket even if you have to throw it away, it makes no difference. So that's the whole canvas. Paint it now right down to the end. So you have half or less than half. I prefer the horizon to be a little bit lower than halfway or a bit above it. It doesn't really matter. Now I've, all I've got to do now is take off the masking tape, pull it off nice and gentle and reverse it. Put, put it upside down along the horizon just like so so that you will have just the whole lot in reverse. And I'm nice and careful now, take your time, it will... Now, all I need to do now is cover the canvas. And I'm going to cover, I need to make all this canvas slip and slide. So I'm going to cover the bottom with liquid clear, which is a nice gooey substance, just like honey. Just like honey, but not honey. And don't confuse this with varnish because it will not work with varnish. All covered. Now, what I'm going to do is mix some paint. And I need to put uh, some colors in. So I'm going to pick up with the same brush, I'm going to pick up black. And I'm going to coat right into the liquid clear. Right into the liquid clear, just black. Right up, don't be afraid to go up onto the tape. Cover it all black. Now in this black, it's, it's very important that I say it's not a cool black, it's a warm black. And there's red in it. A little bit of red to warm it up. Try not to use the pure colors, put a little bit of other color into it. So there's black. And maybe a little bit of green. Just a little bit of green out there out to sea. Sometimes I see this green out to sea. I don't know, is it, is it weed or what is it? But I often wonder, uh, down in Yahal, I often look out in County Cork and look out and see this, this greenery way outside. And I, don't, I really don't know what it is. Somebody might explain, is it weed or is it some kind of reflection? What it is, I don't know. And back to the black now, right here. And maybe, just maybe, a little bit of flavor, a bit of blue. Small bit of blue. Don't want too much blue now, we're not. We don't want to go to Florida, we want to go down to the Skelligs, down in Kerry. Most beautiful historic monuments, the Skelligs. And I would recommend to anybody to go out. It's a trip of a lifetime to go out to the Skelligs. But for God's sake, don't go out on your own. Make sure you go out on a tour boat. Because the weather can be inclement at times and we don't want to be sending out helicopters looking for you. Now, this part of the canvas is ready for painting, but this is not. It's too dry. So what I'm going to do is get some liquid white, sparingly again, 
and right down to the old tape right down to the tape but don't put on too much a lot of people are talking about are putting on too much of this liquid white and this will enable us to move the paint on the canvas like we could never do before the old way was to paint on a dry canvas now we're painting on wet canvas and it's just fabulous just fabulous now the whole canvas is now ready and a good way to test it is put your finger on it and if you get your own fingerprints then your canvas is perfect so straight away I go to pick up my brush without cleaning it and go straight away into black and up into the corners and right across the top I'm being careful when I say black and remember now there's a lot of red in this black it's not just an ordinary dull black it's a lot of red in there. I'm going to pick up a bit of phthalo blue just to kill the black will kill that blue and tone it down so it won't be too tropical and here I go down the canvas crisscross strokes crisscross strokes right down the canvas and easing up as you go down ease up on the stroke and you can leave lots of little holes if you want to if I wanted to I could leave that go and I'd get away with that sky uh, here in Ireland because we get a lot of those misty ones but we get lovely skies at the moment we have beautiful weather and it can be a beautiful time those people going out to the Skelligs now can you can go out every day now because the seas are quiet and calm and the weather is beautiful and as I said I recommend anybody to go out and visit the Skelligs see our historical Ireland our real treasure now straight away I'm going to go in the titanium white with the one inch brush on its edge the one inch brush on its edge I tap into it and I'm going to look up here where there's light and there's dark and I go in and I go one, two, three, four, five La offload the, um, the old paint offload the paint and don't touch the, the base of that anymore go back in but don't go up to the top of the cloud and just tap away, don't paint it now, just tap it and all along and this will form a cloud here a shadow under the base of the cloud but every time you come off make sure you wipe the brush on a, on a tissue and here right all along the top of that right all along and you can see the shadow there at the base of that cloud now forming and that's what you want just tap into it don't paint anybody c that can tap like I'm doing can paint this is for everybody so if you're sitting at home and can't get out today stay with me now and enjoy yourself for the next 30 minutes and just tap away and you can see I'm only tapping think that you're playing the ball on our beautiful traditional drum think you're playing the ball on and that's all you need to now you'll notice that I'm keeping the dark and the light and playing them again each other playing them again each other and now I'm fighting with myself to go away from this canvas maybe diffuse that just a little bit up there and I'm fighting with myself and with a clean brush very gently I'm going to go across all this and ask it to sit down please sit down Mr. Cloud into the canvas please sit down all I'm doing is going across the paint the sky and asking the sky to sit down the clouds please Mr. Cloud sit down please and it will sit down much better for you if you practice a cork accent a carry one might do as well but not as good as a cork one now that's fine now I've got to that stage now and all I've got to do next is uh, come back in here to the um, to the seas I can leave this on if I wish but I'll take it off now just pull off the contact paper and you can dump that there's no need for it <coughs> there's no need for it anymore I'm just going to co coax the, um, the liquid clear that we had on down here I'm just going to coax it right up right up right up to the horizon now, but I don't want to go above the horizon 
Remember now, the sky has just come down to meet the horizon. And then going very carefully right across it. And that's all I need to do for that. And I'll expect all of you people around Ireland to start painting after this. Now, I want to create the illusion of seas way out. And don't go to any great detail about this. Get your titanium white on the knife and get a roll of paint off the knife. Just cut across it. And go up onto the hair and just cut in as though you're cutting a hole in the canvas. Like that. As though you're cutting a hole in the canvas. And these, these now have to be uh, horizontal. They should be parallel with, with the horizon outside. And I'm just cutting in like that, as though give, creating the illusion that the surf breaking way out, way out. When we get closer, we can put in a little bit more detail. I must watch the old clock now to see how I'm going. Oh, we're OK, because there's come people here in the studio that go mad when I go over time. They start breaking furniture throwing things at me. But I don't mind, I said. I go back to Cork if you keep throwing things at me. And then we make up again. And then we're all friends again. And all these strokes now are parallel with this horizon here. Just cut in. The knife will, the canvas will take the, uh, the paint off the back of the knife if you talk to it nicely. So please, Mr. Canvas, take that paint off the knife for me. And you'll see now how easy it is to paint Irish seas. You can see the foam breaking well out there now. And that's just a nice sea there today. There's no white horses. Anybody that go out when there's white horses are looking for trouble. They shouldn't go out. And it's a pity with all uh, this. Sometimes uh, when we get the good weather, a lot of people take to the water, which and they don't have enough experience, and they should be much more careful. And always notify people when you're going away, when you're expected to come back, just for safety reasons. Don't be spoiling your things for your family or anyone else. Now, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, what I've got to do, I want you to come up here. <coughs> and I've just got the basic shape. I need the basic shape here of the skelligs. And all I'm doing is keeping the canvas dry. So I pull that off, and I pull this off. And that gives me the basic shape of the, uh, the skelligs way out to sea. But they're so far out, they're several miles out, I don't need any detail. My island, oh, I'm coming home. So what I'm going to do now is get a, a liner brush. And first of all, I'll mix a bit, little bit of color. I'm going to mix a little bit of white. Not much, you don't need much. Bit of blue. And the blue and the white. And then that's too blue for me, so I'm going to tone it down. I need to dot it a little bit. And I'm going to put a, a bit of Van Dyke Brown into it to tone it down, to tell it come down. Tone down, please, Mr. Blue Color. Don't want it to jump out too soon to me. Now. That's a little bit browny, so I'm going to get another bit of white and another small bit of blue. And that's coming close to what I want now. A dirty blue, not too prominent. Way out to sea. It's too far out. And that'll do me fine. So what I'll do is I just get the basic shape of the... Uh, of that, I'm going to get a liner brush here. And if you come up here, I just fill in the basic shape. Now this is quite rugged, so I can go outside the shape. Now these are miles out, Skellig Michael, and if you want to go out there and take a day, it's, it's, it takes about a half a day trip out there, but it's well, well worth it. Well worth it. See how those monks survived out in those rocks all those years? And our history is all around this area. 
And again, now I'm just very rugged, very jagged, because years, hundreds, thousands of years of evolution, and the Atlantic coming in there took its toll on these rocks. And my God, they are jagged, but they are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I just fill all those in. Now what I need to do is highlight them very slightly. They're too, too far out. This one, Skellig Michael, should be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to spread them out a little bit now. And there's a pathway right up, the whole way up, and some safety rail in that. But I don't recommend you bring children. I've seen children out there, but I think you should try and get somebody to mind the children when you're going out. Now I'm going to get a little bit of a liquid white, and I'm going to just lighten that a little bit. The same color, but a different value, just to highlight it. I don't want detail too far out. When we get closer, maybe a little bit. And again, these strokes now are vertical strokes, because the rocks are jugged, or rugged, I should say, right out there. The ferries go out here from Valencia and places like that. And um, there's a lot of people advertised them down there in Kerry. And I would recommend that anybody. It took me a long time to get out because several times I tried and the weather wasn't suitable. And, but eventually I did. Well worth the experience. And you can see how they used to smoke uh, the fish and all that and live and survive. And capture the water and everything. The rain water was the only fresh water they had. Now what I'm going to do is come in here under that and again soften that so as it'll sit down into the painting. Get it to sit down into the painting. Please sit down, please. Very far out, very, very far out. No detail. Now, as I come closer, I want to create illusion. There's movement in the surf. I'm just going to just pick up titanium white on its own and come in here. And I'm just going to create little like that, little surfs. Not a whole and pushing up there so there'll be a little bit of foam at the top. And pull this right down like this, like so. A little bit more, a little bit more surf there. Where the water would just break. And the only reason for this now, we're getting a little bit closer. Create the illusion of water surf breaking out there. And uh, that's what you want. And again, another little bit here perhaps. Not a whole lot, just not a whole lot. And the surf will break one into the other. Catch the base of it and pull it down. Just a little twist and let it come down into me, but don't kill the darks now. Another little bit of surf, but don't have it too high now. It's not a, it's not a, a bad day today out there. It's nice, cool surf, just floating around. And again, catch the base of it very gently and pull it down. Pull it down, all down. It's kind of a little twitch of, uh, just a little half twitch coming down and leveling off again on the, on, the, on the surface, like that. And leave all those little, those little dark areas, leave them there. You want them, they're your friend. And mind them. Again, I'm picking up more titanium white, maybe a little bit of liquid white, but not much, not much. And here again now I'm going to go back in and ch ch And, and again, now I'm fighting with myself. For God's sake, Dave, will you go away from it? So again, I just catch the base of that wave. Just catch the ba base of it and pull it down and ask it to sit down. Please sit down, Mr. Wave. Please sit down. And again, do not overpaint it. And get plenty of movement in the water. The swell, even though it might be a cab out there, the swell of the... Um, of the tide pushing will swell it up for you. So uh, you get the, the push of the water. Now, 
you know me by now and I always have a little surprise so I want the cameras to come right up here please if I can find so I'm going to under my contact paper that you all know I showed you many times how to use it and use it to your advantage some people won't agree with me some do but if it makes your life easy what about it and I'm going to pull this off because I have a couple of men working here working out of a curragh and I just throw that away just throw that away and again come back in here under now these are we all know anybody in Ireland are traditional curraghs you get them along the west coast and you'll get them along the south coast and they were used to transport um, especially in the west of Ireland goods in and out to the islands down through the years down through the years for centuries and they were a very very reliable uh, boat absolutely reliable and um, very very popular in Ireland all those years and still are very very popular they use them now in regattas and everything like that all over and they're made of uh, ribbed and, and canvas covered over and um, what happens they tar it in and, and you get a beautiful very reliable boat and again here now I go to come across it this and just pull and push up make the noises if you can the brush comes off or the paint comes off better if you can make the noises on there and try and try and uh, make sure that they're cork noises <laughs> practice the old cork accent and the painting will do much better for you so I'm just going to catch this now and pull it right down and I remember earlier on in the program I told you I had black and different colors in here now these are picking up those colors this white is, is going in and picking up the colors so right along here bit of foam there all along the base of that uh, the boat well she'd be breaking right there now she's breaking water there and just push up and again the same principle pull it right down but try and get an old twitch on it right down don't touch the top uh, of the form at all don't touch the top of that form these uh, boats you get lovely uh, when, when the people are putting away the boats up from the tide and uh, some people farmers don't understand you'd see men walking along and uh, they're having um, the boat upside down you'll see <laughs> a cork upside down with legs hanging out from under it and I think it's very nice and it's unique to Ireland and uh, but some people don't understand that but anyway it's beautiful and we're very proud of our heritage and culture and we're very proud of these beautiful boats but they are quite common still all along the west of Ireland and they, at the regattas now you can see lots and lots of these um, lots and lots of these boats all along racing each other and fine young men and I like to look at them because they take off the shots and big strong boys and uh, pick the best I, th I don't think it's all strength it's timing and everything like that and uh, great rivalry that's what you want great rivalry the people come out and there are thousands to watch all these races and things like that and here we go now again at the same angle pulling right down pulling right down and right down here with the same movement to the water and then don't kill all the darks what I'd like to do is just a little bit of a, a bit of thinned out paint a little bit don't overdo it and you can catch some of that and introduce a form coming down as well form especially the ones that are closer to you they come on down there the form breaks into various formations with the movement of the water don't have them too straight 
it reminds me of marbling or something like that. And uh, here again, you can just, we don't want to overdo that either. And this way then, you can get movement. And then again, it's time to say, to call it a halt and say stop. Because the furniture now is starting to rattle around this studio. I'm getting the message. And I'm going to say to you, try this. Try the liquid clear. Try the black gesso. And you'll be shocked at how easy it will make your life. So, until we meet again, got a meal of Shlan Les, and God bless you all, my friends. Ireland, my island, oh, I'm coming home. Though I roam, sure my heart never left her. Oh, the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland.